the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 21 for Monday, December 7th, 2020, where we examine four craft beers from Green Cheek Brewing Company. Welcome to the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 7th, 2020. This is episode 21. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's intro for hosts Chris and Charlie. Today's show is a deep dive into four beers from Green Cheek Brewing Company based out of Orange, California. We try a Czech Lager, a Berliner, a West Coast IPA, and a Double Dry Hopped West Coast IPA. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. Today's show starts off a little rough with some behind-the-scenes audio that gets explained very early on. Other than that, the rest of the show is all about some great beers from Green Cheek. So enjoy. None of that? Yeah, no, the whole intro. Sorry. Okay, yeah, no, no worries. That. So we'll start At over. least I caught it now. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, exactly. We'd be like, hey, remember that show we had? <laughs> we finally did it. It never happened. It never happened. Only in our own minds. It would yeah. be just us drinking beer. Yeah. You could acknowledge that we screwed up. That's all. Oh, that's oh we're all right. No, no. Figure out how to do it. All right. Round two. So this is the Podcraft Beer Show. Uh, today, we're. Uh, uh, I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yo. We got tech guy, Steve, over here. Yep. This Started. is take two. Yeah, we started uh, drinking a little too early and didn't Steve, push the, press the button. We were twenty. <laughs> we were only twenty six minutes into our first <laughs> recording of the show, and Steve pointed out we didn't record this. Hey, if you didn't hear it before, I'll tell you now. This thing had a lot of pressure on this can, <laughs> and I have a beautiful head on my beer. These guys are out of it. They have no head on their beer. I don't know what's going down. They poured their own, so it's so a, we. We were about two minutes into our into our recording, but so uh, so as we as we are uh, today, we're going to cover uh, some green cheek uh, some green cheek beers. Uh, loyal li- loyal listener Aaron A A Ron A A Ron uh, had had uh, brought over some green cheek beers and and asked us if we would uh, good choice. Which um so so the first beer that we started off with uh, is is don't tell science. It's a a Czech pilsner. Uh, it's a collab with Bagby Beer Company. I um, love Bagby. Out, out I love Oceanside. that name, Bagby. Uh, Jeff Bagby. He uh, um, he was a brewer at Pizza Port. Uh, he was at Stone for for quite some time back in back in the day. And he knows uh, what he's doing. Uh, Bagby Beer Company's been open for um, for quite some time. Uh, it's a really really cool spot. Uh, r- right right there in in Oceanside. But um, I used to meet my brother in law there when he would be in Orange County. That was kind of our halfway spot. Uh, we we stopped in there a couple of times. Never been there. I will now though. If I have it's a to. really cool spot. I'd great love to food. See it. Uh, I don't know what their status is right now with the whole COVID thing. But, yeah, probably um, just the same as everybody else. Crappy. Yeah, it's a it's a cool kind of open air uh, spot. Well, then that's better yeah. than nothing. So. And great food. So Charlie, uh, tell us your about your first visit there. Oh, to Green Cheek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I uh, I dropped off my daughter uh, at college and. Uh, or helped her move into an apartment. I can't remember what it was up there in Irvine. And uh, on my way back, I I hadn't been to Green Cheek, so I drove in there and I stopped in. And I was there early. I didn't realize how early, but uh, I walked right in. The doors were wide open. Everything was going on. I'm thinking, cool, I'm going to sit back for a minute and just study this menu here or selection of beers and uh, see what's uh, see what's going to happen, You know, see what I'm going to try at least. And uh, somebody comes up to me and he says, uh, this guy says, uh, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah, I'm here to get some beer. And he goes, uh, well, we, do, we don't open for like another 20 minutes, but uh, if you want to sit right there, we'll take care of you when we open. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, I'll, okay, I'll just sit here and be quiet. And I said, well, what do you suggest off the off the beer list? And he goes, start with the lager and work your way through it. So I did. It was wonderful. That was uh, Aaron? Uh, Evan Price, Evan. The, uh, Evan, the, the brewer there, uh, the uh, the owner, one of the one of the two owners. He uh, Super nice guy. Yeah, he's a great. He's, um, yeah, really, really nice guy. Um, had, well, and then I run into him like a week or two later at uh, Modern Times uh, Festival of Funk Festival down of there, Funk. and he's all, "Hey," and I'm like, "Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Let's take another picture together." <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, uh, really, really nice guy. He makes phenomenal beer. He was at uh, Noble Ale Works. For, yeah, I remember for that. He switched over, so did his, did the right thing. Made his own. 
Yeah, no, super cool spot. They're um they're open for you know I I know we we talk um you know occasionally about about the availability of their beers. So so right now they're um or, or of the beers that we're drinking. Green Cheek, the majority of their beers uh purchased right there at Green Cheek. They're they are open. Uh, some of the beers that we're um that we're popping uh, today are available uh, at at the brewery right now for for pickup. Take complete uh, not complete. <laughs> Tell us about Bagby. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, just, uh, Bagby beer company. I mean, I, I kind of mentioned earlier, just, I uh, was a, he was a brewer at Stone and, and, uh, uh, at Pizza Port, um, you know, kind of wanted to start his own spot and, and then opened it a few years ago. So, uh, yeah, they, they got together and made this, made this collab, uh, to, uh, check, uh, check Pilsner. Um, what's the rating on this? So like the, what's it? No, like on, on tapped or. Yeah, let's uh, let's check that out. Let's see what it. Uh, I mean, it's phenomenal, and you know we're we're a little past the the Oktoberfest, but man, I could drink these beers like year round. Yes, a little crispy. We were actually, I think we were going to start in another fashion, but we'll uh, we'll loop back around. Um, let's see what is this one? Because uh, this wouldn't be something that somebody would submit right to one of the because it's a collaboration. Um, they wouldn't, what would they submit it to like the American beer festival or anything like that? Because um, yeah, probably not. Right. Yeah. No, like it would be your, your, your own beer. It's a four, uh, it's, it's sitting at, um, a 3.99. I think, which, which if you look at like the style, you know, like uh, it being a, um, uh, being a Pilsner, you know, it's right. not going to rate like a, yeah, but of uh, Pilsners, it's gotta be. Way, no, it's phenomenal. Like, huh? Really, really I mean, that's good. super, super tasty. Just crisp. The smell on it, you can just smell and those we just, hops. We just killed it. Yep. But we had a head start, so I guess that's okay. No, that's yeah, yeah that's all right. No, this is uh that's a really good beer. I mean, I think um um I think I've never I don't think I've had a bad beer at uh, at Green Cheek. I think everything is is made really well with the style. Rather small place though, huh, Charlie? Yeah, it's it's not that little. I mean, compared to I mean, it's it, I'd say it's bigger than uh Burning Beard. Maybe yeah. I, you know, I haven't been in there in a while, so it's uh, you know I know they had the, it's the first an open, time I went in. It's I an open had, place. I mean, but I mean, and at, through this COVID, they're probably all outside, so they're in that parking right. lot. So yeah, that's, and they're that's on it. A, they're on like a little one side of their building has a dead end, so they're probably using up that whole area there and everything. Yeah, but they, so we, me and me and Megan actually dropped in there. We did a hike one day and stopped and picked some beers up yeah, on, you on the way some back. Beers here. Uh, it was it was super it was super efficient. You just pull right in, pull up. Place your order. They go grab it. Come back. Drop your card in, and and you're on the road. I like it. Yeah. Um, no, it's great. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Let's uh, let's move forward. Wow. Dude. Wow. Are you hearing that? Yeah. That's like some pressure on there, man. I don't know what's going on. Did you shake these beers. What up? do you uh, What do you got there, Charlie? We're pouring a super Berliner here. Uh, extra. Gua- it's called uh, Power Jacket. E- extra Guava Super Berliner, and great looking can though so the uh their um their regular berliner is 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 guava in berlin i'm addicted to guava so the uh they say that guava in berlin comes in at like a 3.6 percent super super light um look at the head i got yeah there man once you're again. not a qualified poor obviously. no i uh i need to, some 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 training out there uh so so guava in berlin i think comes in at about three and a half percent it's this comes in up. at nine percent Woo! so we're they we're they say two and a half times the normal strength and then hit it with extra guava uh was the difference between this and and, and their guava in berlin that's you it's all you're smelling dude so they say the body's medium pleasant hint of acidity uh, that helps create a pretty fun uh drinking experience it's good i can tell so it's you a, it's already. kind of a peach color um, in, uh, I guess if you're, if you're to, to look at the color there. Wow. Star metal. Hints of star metal. Wow. I'm a big fan of guava. At 9%, like that's a, dude, that's, that's an easy drinker. That's a, that's super, super tasty. Dangerously drinkable. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. You know, they, that, that guava in Berlin, you had, you had brought back some of that the, the mm-hmm. first time you went there, you came back with a bunch of crowlers and, um. That was good. This that is was a really step good. up, I think. For sure. Yeah. A little, little, um, little heavier, you know, coming in at 9%. Mm-hmm. That's dangerous at 9%. I'm going to have to say yes. This is something yeah. that you would want to have like. Anything, anything above eight is dangerous. I mean, if well, you're drinking more than one beer. This thing, you don't taste that, that 9%. Well, yeah, like if you had this around the, the pool. She's going to hit you in the back of the head with a baseball bat Somebody's going to be on. throwing me a life vest. Wait, you hear that? 
What's that, Charlie? It's my brisket cooking over there in the bri- in the Traeger. So that this nice is little, um, um, yeah, that smells phenomenal. It's um super tasty. This is actually available uh today. It was still available on their on their web page. We can order it. You can, you could yeah. You gotta drive through and pick it up. Oh, they you won't know what? Ship? Actually, Why are they I not take shipping? That back. They do. They do have a. They they said that uh that their web page is back up for shipments through California. You can do cases and mixed cases. I'll do they that. have a really cool setup. So if they have like five beers on their on their web page, you just go through in each line of the six. So you get six four packs. You just click and you know you're like, hey, I'll take one of this, one of this. They have a picture of each beer, so it's idiot proof for a guy like me. Uh, you just start at the top and and allegedly wh- whatever <laughs> picture you think you like to drink, you click on that one. <laughs> and then hit I'm going to say this one. They, they. I think I would buy a case of this. One day shipment. So they, uh, so if you order it on, they, they ship. If you order it on Monday, it gets uh, uh, shipped to you on Tuesday. It'll arrive on Tuesday. So they ship, I think, Mondays, Mondays or Tuesdays. Well, I don't know when this is going to air, but um, I'm, I'm going on a trip. Yeah, I think it's going to air while you're uh, yeah. still on the trip, on yep. the road, the return. But I'm going to pick up a ton, and I mean a ton, of crawlers. From the answer, uh huh. I'm gonna run through the veil, and then I'm gonna hit uh, Aslan, Android Theory, and then jump across the bridge into Maryland, and go to Rar, and Burley Oak, and if I am in the time frame, I mean I got all the time I need, but I mean I may go down the long run of Maryland and then pop over into Norfolk and hit Benchtop. And uh, my plan is to swoop down south because uh, we're supposed to go meet somebody in uh, San Antonio. And then um, my brother and I actually driving back. And then uh, I want to I run through Colorado and hit Outer Range and Casey. Casey well. just had a big old bunch of bottle releases, so I'm excited. That's, that's about a it. lot of links for the show notes. Yeah, I know. That's why I do it because I want to see you guys try and type that stuff up later. <laughs> You're going to be zigzagging all over the country. Not How long really. Is it take I'm going to go south and then back up into the middle of the country in Colorado area, and then once I'm there, I'll head straight to Vegas and uh, probably drop off a few crawlers to my uh, daughter and son-in-law and uh, his dad and mom, and then uh, head back to Cali. How long are you planning on being gone? Uh, I'm leaving uh, on the first. Of, I'm doing a red eye, and I'll land on the second. So I would say I'd be home by the 10th at the latest. Nice maybe a day trip. earlier, maybe a day later, probably. I don't know. Probably, no, I would hope not to be any later than the 10th. So There you go. That's uh, that's quite a few breweries. I'm, I'm excited to see the... Uh, uh, what what you end up with? The mule. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I wish I could go by and see Nick, but I'm going to be south. You're going to be south. Way south. From Indiana, Nick. Like 1,500 miles south. So are I don't you know more if there is 1,500 miles south of where Nick lives. Sure be in is. the ocean. Sure there is. It's San Antonio. Well, that's a, yeah, that's a long way. But you got to drive past. You got to go somewhere like Texas and Virginia. Somewhere in between is uh, this place called Indiana. No, it's north. It's right. It's, it's north, way but up right. Above it's not Oklahoma and stuff. It's, there's not fifty. It, no, it's a thousand miles south. What do you think, Steve? It's a long doing? way. Right. It's a long way. <laughs> yeah. Jag on think that, genius. Maybe I don't. Uh, <laughs> huh. Anyhow, but that's my uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I I agree. I'm with you. I'm over here. Uh, when I at this map, I'm looking at this map on my on my phone, Charlie, and it's no more than like two. Th- Thumbs. Yeah. Distance. Two thumbs equals 1,500 miles. <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> you so haven't the, driven it. <laughs> so have you guys had it? Uh, what did you have for, for beers this week? Anything decent? Anything uh, memorable? I've been drinking uh, some stuff that uh, <clears throat> my son-in-law's dad brought over for the day after Thanksgiving. We uh, hung out here and uh, socially distanced. Uh-huh. And uh, drank some beverages here, and uh, it was quite interesting. He brought some interest. He he left a few beers here that we're going to have to look at huh. after this podcast because there's some dillies in there. Let me tell you. But uh, uh, there was some uh, modern times. There was some uh, gosh, what else is there? There's oh, uh, my son-in-law brought some beers on me over, and I think I gave you one of those. You did. You did. 
And uh, so we drank up and uh, enjoyed them all. They were delicious. Hazies are my friend. So the um, so I had you had you had mentioned beer zombies and and uh, those beer zombie beers are, are brewed up at Mason Ale Works. I actually uh, I, I went to Mason Ale Works yesterday. There was a, a Ferris Falcon uh, release, which is the the collab brewery that uh, that Horace is doing with um, uh, with Mason Ale Works uh, together. They they had their first uh, their first release yesterday, which was called uh, "Split Second Glimpse of a Bird Hurtling Past and Away." <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's yeah. a name. They found out that we were having a name name yeah. naming contest. Right. They wanted yeah, exactly. to get in on that. It was phenomenal. Pushed it to the limit. That if that's their first you know, I was kinda I was I, I only you know, I ordered a couple of four packs just thinking that that it was their first release. These guys hadn't hadn't um I'd never had a a Horace IPA. I think that um I, I didn't have super high expectations, I guess. Was truth. it just a regular IPA? It's a hazy, uh, it's a uh, double dry hopped hazy uh, double I'm IPA. I think to drink it. Citra and Galaxy, or is it Mosaic and Galaxy? Well, you know what? We'll we'll pop that one the next time. It was super super good. I'm uh, I'm definitely excited for what that brand has to offer. And and it's really, Mason Ellers there. It's a super cool. Uh, it's going to be really cool interesting. Um, I mean, I could I could I could only imagine what they have planned for the future. Yeah. So they um they had some some stouts they were pouring. I didn't. I I I I'd, uh, I'd tasted a couple of Horace's stouts, and they had a collab stout uh, that that I think he said was his festival beer. I could be wrong on that. That that they'll be pouring at festivals moving forward. They were supposed to have bottles of that. Um, I didn't. I didn't have a taster of that, but I had three separate stouts, all of them phenomenal. Um, and then the uh, the Ferris Falcon, which was uh, great. I, I'm I'm super excited to see what comes forward from that brand. But how about you, Steve? What'd you have? Yeah, so it's kind of embarrassing, but I had never had the Circle of Hops from Burning Bear, wow. the San Diego Pale Ale. So th- how that's could in can. You? It's in cans now. So yeah, I was like really, really that's a good beer. Really good beer. Yeah. Two thumbs up. That's it. I like it. Well, no, it's you not had one right. beer for a yeah. week. Yep. I don't Cutting know. back. We're gonna have to look for a new tech guy. I think. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> He's not supporting the yeah. cause. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. So. Uh, yeah, I was super excited about that. I, I um I think that was probably the best beer I had this week as well. Was probably that 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 Ferris Falcon, I think. I'm trying to Yeah, I also I also opened that Fog Seeger, the double hot oh, yeah. Yeah. Hot, foggy IPA from Humble Sea. Uh-huh. That was pretty good too. Yeah, that's real good. So I, I like um, Fog Seeger. Yeah, I'm a fan of Humble Humble Sea is probably yeah. right now uh, one of my favorite breweries. Betty Lou's getting out, didn't I? Um, <laughs> yeah, I went yeah. saw him in concert. Recently, Not Bob, but Bob recently, Not that. a while back. I mean, pre-COVID. Yeah, absolutely pre-COVID. They wouldn't let us in the building if it was COVID. We're jumping to the next. What do you got there, Charlie? Uh, West Coast IPA is dead. Green Cheek Brewery. So back to the back to the green cheek. We're going the, um, all green cheek, all green cheek all the time. So uh, West Coast IPA is smells dead. like a West Coast IPA. I'm a big fan of West Coast IPAs, Charlie. I can't tell you what beer this is, what company this is from, even with the label. So they say <laughs> a uh, clear IPA brewed without uh, without crystal malt to keep the color light and malt flow low, letting the Simcoe and Citra hop shine through like crazy. Clear, bitter, hoppy. You're gonna love it to death i can't imagine them not making a great west coast ipa i'm sorry some awesome smell out of the can it is it's fantastic i mean if if you just want to go on the smell amazing the uh taste wow um i like it and i'm not a big west coast ipa fan i love west coast ipas i know quit rubbing it gosh i'm i'm a fan (laughs) I um, I mean, I think you know. The, I mean, we've talked about it previously, but the uh, I, I I just think like where where West Coast IPAs are today. I just when I drink one, like I had that uh, um, I had a Mason Ale Works Run the Jewels Horace um, West Coast IPA collab. They did a uh, a release for a video game. Um, I am not certain what the name of the beer was. I apologize, but the uh, um. It was phenomenal. Like I just love the dry, like the back end of the. Uh... I I like this, but I'm. I mean, 
it wouldn't be my go-to. I would af- I would start with that lager if I'm going to be drinking beer for a while. If I'm going to do more than two, I'm on that lager. And then that super Berliner, yeah. But this one, I mean, West Coast IPA. I mean, yeah. I think it's it's been overdone. I I just love that citra hop in there. That hop mixture between that that citra that you taste on the back end. I think you taste a strata on the on the front end, but that back end is all citra and just like that that slow citra. All right, it that. is delicious. I'll give them that. That's a good beer. I mean, so, I, if, so smooth. Yeah, really, it is. I it's mean, super compared easy to, drink. to you know a bunch of other. West Coast IPAs, I mean, yeah, it's a great beer. I mean, but I'm, you know, like I said, I get that IBU in the back of my mouth. Yeah. And it just, it's just not there for me. I mean, the, the, the hazy ones just soften that up so much. It yeah. just almost relieves that bitterness. Right. There's no bitterness to them. And that's, you know, that, that Ferris Vulcan that I was mentioning that I, I dropped some off for you guys. Um, that's the way I felt about that last night. It was just like pillowy soft. That's it was what I super want. Super easy to drink. Or I'm like, this is, this is dangerous. Like at a at a eight percent beer, it was just super good, super easy to drink. Like ready to. Um, I mean, I think there's some breweries like locally. Like I, I feel like I get some cans, and I'm like, man, I'm like, this is really green, and like it needs a few days to. Um, you think to really be on point? Um, well, occasionally I think there's been a, a may, maybe that's incorrect. That that just tasted ready to go straight out of the from the get go. Well, we're gonna try that next time because I haven't had it yet. So, we're gonna roll on to the next one. You ready? Yeah, that's or you a, want to talk about your IPA you. some more? Yeah, I'm, I no, it's great. I love it. It's it's fantastic. I could drink a can of it and be done. Yeah, yeah. So it, you know, I mean, it comes. You know, it's it it pours like a straw color. Uh, your your clear, almost almost see through uh, West Coast IPA. Definitely get that that uh, um, that citra smell and that. No, and it does smell good. Taste. I can give it, it that. Nice, clean, dry, uh, dry it's finish. A, a lot of. A lot of bitterness in there. Yeah, bitter end at the. Uh, I like the parrots. Yeah, well, the parrots are cool. Cheeky. Yeah, yeah very green cheeky. cheeky. You can actually, um, for all the kids out there that are listening, uh, you can order a, a coloring book on uh, on greencheek dot com. Awesome. <laughs> That's of, of we the, should get one of those for AA of run. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a little I'm just thank kidding. you. <laughs> of, of, yeah, no, that cheeky is. Uh, it's great. They um I like their little bird symbol, their little parrot. Sure. We have parrots at our house. I, yeah, they're all yakking the all over, huh? Yeah. How great is that? Are we going after potty? Yeah. So uh right. what's the so I I know how big of a fan Charlie is of West Coast IPAs. So so for the after party I couldn't wait to get to the next one. We brought him a double dry hopped uh <laughs> West Coast, West Coast, Coast IPA. IPA. Here, listen to this. This thing's under pressure. That is some heavy pressure there. What do you got there for a beer, Charlie? Uh, skeleton Wings. Double Dry Hop West Coast IPA Green Cheek. I love the can. They got like skeleton little uh, little uh, parrots. So good it's scary, it says on the side. So here we have a... Uh, I may like this more than the other one. You got a Double Dry Hop West Coast IPA. You got Mosaic... Uh, Amarillo, Strata, Simcoe, Nelson, uh, Equinot. Uh, it's, it, it says it's their first dr- double dry hopped West Coast IPA. Um, bitterness is full, chewy, resinous uh, quality that pleasantly sticks to your palate. Smells like some good cheese. What do you think, Steve? The smell of the can was also it's, excellent. It's it's a, that, it's a stanky beer. The same, actually, a little clearer. I think it's a little more clear. It's golden. The, uh, yeah, I mean, it's that's super is that the light. sunset or is that you? <laughs> Must be golden hour. Yeah. Can I see the can again? Just it smells guys. pretty funky. I don't know. Let me taste it. Let me see. See, definitely, it smells super hoppy. Can we say we're not doing a West Coast IPA for at least a week? Yep, <laughs> for at least a week. We're gonna have a uh, unless Chris and I do a show. But yeah, you right. guys do be your all own West show. Coast all the time. <laughs> Amateurs. Charlie used to give me a hard time about drinking nothing but but IPAs. He's like, you guys don't uh, don't have any any culture. No palate. No palates. Need to be drinking barley wines and stouts. And I did a little bit of that. Yeah. No. The uh, 
I'm a big fan of this. This is, this is this probably is really good. It's super, super. <laughs> That's deep. mildly than the last one. What's the IB or IBUs or uh, I don't know. What's the it's alcohol by volume on that at least seven and a half percent or something. And what was that other point? one? Nineteen. Seven point two. And the the one we just had was seven point two. So wow. they're both seven. You think this one tastes a lot less? Uh, yeah. See, I, I get way. I get. I think more bitterness. I think in the in the second one than the first one. I got Much more, more bitterness bitter. in the first yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. It's not in the back of my mouth, though. Yeah. It's on the front. I don't mind it on the front. I don't want it in the back because I don't is, want to yak. That's a, It's a very good beer. <laughs> Super hoppy. Um, it's good. They're both good. Gosh, I hate good W West Coast IPAs. So, yeah, we uh, we won't do any West Coast IPAs. We'll do uh, fruit sours and stouts when you come back. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's a magical area. We're going to do nothing but Berliners gonna, and fruited sours and stouts with nothing but adjuncts. Do a bunch of fruit beers and over, uh, over adjunct, over beer, adjunct uh, stouts. stouts yeah. I like it. I'm go. in. Hey, I'm a fan. You know, the, I, I was, I was thinking the other day, we were drinking that, um, uh, another, the, another dose, like the, uh, the, the other the, great stout. That thing's unbelievable. I was going to bring a, 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 another beer, but the, I, I know we got a, we got a, I, Sometimes feel like we end up being like uh, we 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 have memberships to a few breweries, right? So it's like easy to like it's it's easy to get those beers. I only have a coffee us, membership. The, you guys have a real you have a real membership to a brewery. Well, Charlie, you know what? You got to you got to be able to walk before you can run. Yeah, I know. It's easy to you know. It's usually good with st- coffee, it wakes me up enough it's to good, walk. It's good to start with a coffee membership. So Charlie came up with a with a Mostra uh, membership. I was actually kicking around picking one of those up. It's might still have to do it. I love most your coffee. I do too. I'm a huge fan of 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 uh I'd of love to get those guys on to talk about their beers. They um they are yeah, do a lot of collaborations. That's you know, my, my one question that I actually went up there today, I was like, I, you know, I'd I'd like to it'd be the deciding factor on on if I got a membership there or not. They they mentioned that you'll be able to get, you know, you're gonna be able to get a couple of beers there. Uh the uh the main beer this year it's TME with uh uh, with Jay Wakefield, uh, you may get an opportunity to buy the leftovers of that, or um, but the, I mean, so that that's that'll be coming up, and then they they'll do another beer, and then you also get access to um, their beer festival, which VIPs got a bottle that was made just for that festival. Last year was Moxa, um, Moxa made you know a, those boys <laughs> made a made a beer it was, uh, for most for six. So, um, gosh, there's. You get some pretty cool experiences. Not to mention, you get to make that pan. They made that Pandem milkshake IPA, Harlan. Pretty cool little. Um, I'm excited about that. a lot of fun. You know, like maybe maybe not like monthly beer releases that you're going to get to get, but you get coffee. Like you can drink coffee every day, every morning before I work. Do. I work. drink. Afterwards. I drink mostly Mostra. Yeah. <laughs> did I say that right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I just wonder the access to you know because they do a lot of uh, um, they do a lot of barrel aged coffees right so they with the they take the the beans that that were used so these uh the the breweries well so i'll speak to the one that that we went to uh fundamental summation right it was a, a collab three sons and and bottle logic we had uh gotten coffee beans it was the the coffee that was used in the beer after the beer had been aged they got the barrel back aged those original beans in that barrel so you could taste like the fundamental summation in the coffee it was delicious it was unbelievable yeah like so you're tasting like the oak you're tasting the that's what sprung me on bourbon, the whole mostra effect yeah i mean we woke up one morning it was like six in the morning go when we shot up waited in line to go get it might have been earlier than that it might have been a six o'clock opening whatever yeah. time they opened it was early we showed up a half hour early Remember us we're like the, we were, like the tenth person. In we line. were pretty crazy to be waiting in line for a coffee bean. Yeah, but we got it, and then we drank it, and then we knew. But I also got uh, like I think I got the uh, creme brulee that day. Creme brulee the latte, latte yeah. which is amazing. So today, me and Megan were we were uh, we were hanging out at home, and and uh, she had mentioned they they had a, a Neapolitan cold brew. Uh, Ooh, that so I'm like delicious. Oh, I'll go up for a coffee. Uh, so so we went up there and this you know, Neop- like Neapolitan ice cold cream, beer. Like how yeah. how could that taste? Like like a bowl of Neapolitan ice cream. Wow. Like it was unbelievable. Yeah. I, I'm, like we were just like both of us are tasting it. Like how do they? How are they, they able bags to bags of coffee of that? No, they, it was it was a cold brew. It was oh, just like a. Man. It wasn't it wasn't in bottles or or anything. I think previously like 
They do some pretty crazy stuff with their cold brew. Like it's a, I've just, ta- I think I talked myself into that membership. I would have the, drank that, but so I am good. not a cold brew fan, but I would have drank that. It was so good. It's, it's amazing what they, uh, so I'm excited to see what they do. They're, they're also open in a, a spot, I think next door, like an event center that, that has a, a beer and wine license. You'd be able to. Well, if anybody hasn't been up there, Steve. I have not, but I have had some. You, you need to go. Interviews. Well, I'll get, didn't I give you yeah, some? Yeah, yeah. That was excellent. So they're. Their coffee is phenomenal. I have a roaster I mean, of the year in kind of a funny story about that. So I made I made a pot and then Christy and Carson were trying it and they're like, This is terrible. They like, <laughs> we can't drink this anymore. It turned out that it was the milk that they had poured in. <laughs> yeah. I was like, You're <laughs> blaming it on the coffee. Hey, they're like, This coffee is terrible. <laughs> you, who made this? <laughs> well, I, it, I'm telling you, I've I've drank a lot of coffee and there's as in my opinion, there's nothing better than that. They make the best coffee I've ever tasted. They're, they make really, really good coffee. The only, and, you know, I'm about to throw in their the one I've been saving, uh, and I I know it's probably not best to save those things for too long, but I have that uh, mezcal barrel aged stuff that they released a couple. Oh yeah, with Pierre. Yeah, oof, so smelly good. I mean, if I can squeeze the bag and smell it, and it just hits the back of my nose and i'm just like holy cow that stuff is amazing yeah definitely uh probably worse places to, ha- to have a membership of, of of some you know like so they were the the 2019 uh they took second place roaster uh, coffee micro brewery roaster of the year no, 2020 one 2020 they were number one okay so they, they they said they had made some improvements to their roasting process which uh, uh when they when they took second so they went back reevaluated their processes and uh, uh, identified some deficiencies in their roasting process uh, and and the following year they they were number one what's cool so, is their family run yeah so it's a and they uh, started in their own home. Yeah, like they have a, a pretty three pound roaster. Yeah, we definitely like have to. It was a one pound roaster. Yeah, it was tiny. And they, um, yeah, so that's a great, that's a great story. We'll definitely have to hit on that uh, a little later. We should, uh, we should definitely work to try and get them, uh, them on the show. Get Mike on here. Um, the, the lab dining. I um, did have one question before we wrap yeah. up. So, um, so my dentist asked me, since he's listening to the podcast, is there a good porter that he should try? No. <laughs> So the I actually I have one. I actually have one. He should come over. I mean, is there somebody who does porters really well compared to other people? Mm, or, hey, porter, I, I know we haven't hey, talked about porter. him at all, right? Yeah. So I just it, it's funny. I have a uh, I have a, a Vietnamese porter uh, that I was that I was going to bring over uh, from from a brewery in Michigan, and I'll I'll, I'll bring that next uh, our next show for the uh, for the closing beer. Uh, ten mile like Who pure makes ten crazy? mile. Dentary. He's a big guy. He's a big porter guy, huh? Porter, come on, man! Stout so, is where talk, it's out. Yeah, talking the microphone. I was Stouts trying to. Where uh, it's out. I was. I was trying to get some some forager, and we've we've talked about that brewery in, in Minnesota. They had a release of a of a porter today. Um, <sighs> they got some good beers, though. I, you know, I think we should we should look at it. We should do a porter show. I have those ten miles. We can do it. I'll do was, it. I'm not afraid. I was telling Charlie that I had a bunch of porters because it's not a style of beer that I that I particularly like. I like porters. Search actually. out, but I mean, but I, if I you're gonna some. if you're gonna put it up against something like, uh, you know, Horace, Modern Times, I mean, good lord, why would you some even waste your time with a porter when they're stouts that are just right there? So there's no adjuncts on porters. Yeah, there is. No, there is smoke, yeah. Smoky, I think, is like what. Uh, 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 smoke porter. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, there's there's some straight porters and there's smoke porters. I'm I've drank some great porters. I was a big fan of porters for a long time. My palate has changed, but you know that happens. Yeah, it's, it's I, just hard to get away from you know these Madagascar vanilla cacao nibs and bananas you I know mean, what though like i have a uh yeah so so i have a uh um a couple we're gonna we'll, we'll take a look at this 10 mile like we'll do a vertical of these 10 mile bottles that i have but they're uh uh you know multi backbone but then you have the bourbon barrels uh you know they're with breckenridge distillery bourbon barrel yeah um it's smoky but they they added vanilla maple syrup molasses no, that sounds pretty doggone good. It says a great beer for cellaring for up to twenty years. I'm fairly certain that sometime in the next twenty <laughs> years, I'll be able to pallet a uh, a porter. <laughs> I got like three changes in the. 
I you know? would uh, I would get them early while they're hot. Yeah, I, so I do have some porters. Actually, uh, yeah, buddy of mine just sent me a really good porter. Rates I might really, have two. really highly. So might have two. I think we'll do a porter show. Sounds good. Maybe, get, we'll get all week. four of them. We need to get a, maybe a celebrity, uh, celebrity judge. Yeah. Somebody that can look at our teeth after we eat all that, that Give us caramel. Give a gum pulp massage. That would be great. I don't know. Uh, that's all I got this week. Is that it? We didn't really answer your question, though. Yeah. Well, you know, he's going to have to ask us in person, that guy. So we're uh, going to do some research. We're going to address that the next show. All right. I think I explained it to him, but I was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> one of those type things. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to have him over and see what he says. We get something else. We'll, we'll just we'll, we'll invite him over and let him drink some beer, and then he can tell us what he thinks of those beers. All right. I'd even be better because you know what do we know? Sounds good. Well, I like that. I'll ask him. What do we know? Until next time, we'll oh. ponder that question. Absolutely. Cheers. 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 I really personally enjoy doing these single brewery deep dives. It's a lot of fun. I hope we can do more of those in the future. Thanks to Aaron for getting us the beers from Green Cheek Brewing Company. It was a very nice gift. To summarize today's show, we had Don't Tell Science, which was the Czech style lager that was in collaboration with Bagby Beer Company based out of Oceanside, California. Power Jacket, an extra guava super Berliner was beer number two. Beer number three was the West Coast IPA is Dead, which of course was a West Coast IPA. And we ended with Skeleton Wings, an exceptionally good double dry hopped West Coast IPA. As I'm recording this, I just checked the Green Cheek website and some of these beers are still available for mail order to select states and pick up if you're in Southern California. So if you'd like to try any of these, then check out the links in the show notes. To subscribe to the PodCraft show, get links to all the beers and breweries mentioned, see pictures of the beers mentioned today, and to connect with the podcast via email, social media, then head over to thepodcraft.com for all that info. Please also consider recommending the show to the craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for the PodCraft show. Have a great day. The PodCraft podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.